mermaids! Welcome back to the H2O YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at a villain of season 1, marine biologist Dr. Linda Denman. Dr. Denman first appears in series 1, episode 8, The Denman Affair. Lewis gets excited about meeting the marine biologist, who he believes can help him understand how the girls got their powers. Their first interaction leaves Lewis lost for words and Cleo very jealous. Can I help you? You seen Dr. Damon? Yes, I'm Dr. Denman. <laughs> I'm Lew Lewis McCartney. Lewis McCartney, um... Lewis McCartney. Are you the one that sent me 48 emails about the research assistant's position? Yes, I am. <laughs> wow. You must be very keen. Either that or a stalker. <laughs> Stalker. <laughs> this is Cleo. This is my resume, if you'd like to take Thank it. you. It's nice to meet you, Cleo. Lewis. And let me say, I find your attitude admirable. Science is the key that unlocks the door to the mysteries of life. So, mind if we take a look at what you're up to? I'm sorry, I'm actually at a crucial stage of something at the moment. But I will take a look at your resume. Okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Lewis applies for a job working with her as an assistant, and after getting accepted, he intends to use her lab equipment to study the DNA from a toenail clipping he obtained from Cleo. Okay. I'll leave you to it. Having fun? Oh, um, I was just... Hey, relax. I knew you couldn't resist. Bench tops, please. So what are you looking at? Oh, nothing, just something that I found at the beach. It's, it's sand or something, but it's nothing special. It's just... There's no such thing as nothing special. Everything has its own story to tell. Oh, is that the time I, uh, I gotta get to school? <laughs> and what have we here? Dr. Demon, I think I left my... my Your um... slide? Hmm. I know it's not San Louis. In fact, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it's... It's a private project. Okay. It's fine. So, oh. listen, um, I'm doing another dive tomorrow and I need some assistance. Feel like doing some work experience? Oh. Yeah, that sounds cool. I'll see you then. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Denman offers Lewis a job to come and work with her as part of her team. Oh, oh yeah, I'm so totally there. I mean, only science can change the world, Dr. Denman. Lewis, please. If we're going to be working together, call me Linda. Linda? Why? It's my name. Oh. Oh. So, we need all this stuff? <laughs> yep. We use most of this stuff today. The other cool thing about science, Lewis. All the toys are a hoot. <laughs> so, where are we heading? I was thinking Mako Island. Mako Island? Ah, uh, that's not a good idea. There's nothing to see. At all. And it's full of sharks. Lots of beer. Come on, Lewis. 
Then tell me you're afraid of sharks. Me? No, no, not at all. Uh, Make them islands fine. Good. What about you? You're always here. This is my life. Yeah, well one day I hope it's mine too. Maybe sooner than you think. What? Lewis, I've just received a very large research grant from a corporation to do a six month scientific survey on an area of my choice. Really? Oh wow, congratulations. You really deserve I want you on my team. You and me, Lewis. It'll mean full time work, a lot of travel, maybe even international. What do you think? Why? Well, I've I... already contacted your teachers. There's government funding available to subsidise your trip and you'll even get credit for the work. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to... Ask run. your parents, of course. But I'll need you to make a decision tomorrow. I'll be leaving for my lab in the Galapagos Islands the day after. That's where we'll be based. Cleo sneaks into Dr. Denman's office and discovers that she's stolen Lewis's DNA sample. She tells him that Dr. Denman is writing a paper about the mermaid sample, but he refuses to believe her. Just add water. The phenomenon of spontaneous cellular mutation. Oh no. It looked like an article for a scientific journal or something. It's the same stuff as you keep blabbing about Lewis. It proves she's still got the DNA sample. It was in a little white slide box. Well, Lewis? She wouldn't. It looked like she'd been studying it, doing tests. She's not like that. Time to face facts, Romeo. Facts? You don't have any facts, Cleo. You read a bit of an article you don't understand. I understand enough to know it's the same stuff you say. So? Maybe I've influenced her thinking. I have a very forceful personality. Ha! <laughs> Why do you think she wants me on a research trip? Did it ever occur to you that there might be a reason? Like, like she values my opinion. And you're mopping. <laughs> Lewis then confronts her about whether she took the DNA slide. She admits to taking the sample and Lewis says that he would join her on the trip. Lewis then steals the slide back and deletes all of her work on the sample. <sighs> Did you hold on to that slide of mine? Yes. Like, it's not like you have to... Pre did you say yes? Yes, I did. It's right here with all our Mako slides. And I'm hoping someday, Lewis, you'll be a little more forthcoming about where you got it. Um... Lewis, you've got something extraordinary here. Cells that completely change their molecular structure on contact with water. It sounds impossible. It is impossible. But here it is. I can't explain it. We need to do a lot more tests. You stole it from me. Lewis, I'm sorry I deceived you, but I have no intention of ripping you off. Why do you think I want you on this trip with me? Is it the charm? Lewis, do you think you could get more samples like this? What about trust? You can trust me to be a good scientist. Like I said, I believe in your talent. I appreciate that. Are you still coming tomorrow? Can I have a look at your research so far? Of course. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Hmm. But are we just going to let him go like this? Like what? Well, you're just sailing away without saying... Lewis! You didn't go. Keen observation, Cleo. Very, very good. You got the slide back. And she didn't suck you in? What, are you serious? 
You think I'd buy that stuff about being a good scientist? Please. What about her records? All the stuff I saw? When she opens the file, I think she'll find it's recently been erased. Oops. No, I don't think the good doctor and I are a team anymore, guys. It's good to have you back, Lewis. Thank you. Dr. Denman reappears 17 episodes later and Lewis goes to investigate why. She claims to be conducting non-related research and admits to knowing that Lewis deleted the research about his sample. Lewis? Dr. Denman? It's good to see you. Yeah, likewise. Um, what brings you back? Research. You know how it is, Lewis. Coral analysis, fish population counts. It's pretty boring stuff. Why? Are you interested in some work? <laughs> no, uh, that's not really my thing. Yeah, I guess it'd be fairly dull compared to that cell sample of yours. What cell sample? Oh, you know, the one with the groundbreaking properties that I experimented on? Only to have you delete the results in a momentary lapse of reason. Oh, that cell sample. I'm sure you only did it because you know a scientific breakthrough when you see one. No, I, I did it because it was my property. Fair enough. I'm too busy with all my highly paid yet ridiculously boring research anyway. Hmm. Thanks. Better get back to it. See ya. See ya. Zane overhears the gang talking about Mako Island and Dr. Denman, so he goes to meet her himself. He tells her to search for Mako Island and that he's seen a mermaid with his own eyes. What's this about Mako Island? Um, nothing. I heard you talking about Mako Island. Something about a marine biologist? Yeah, there's just some hotshot marine biologist poking around out there. Nothing special. Hey, that shirt's nice, isn't you? It suits you. You don't want a drink? Hello? Dr. Denman? Uh, no, I'm Greg. I'm Dr. Denman. You're... You're Dr... Dr. Denman. That's right. Nice gadgets. Nice price tag, too. What are they? Underwater cameras? Mm-hmm. Motion activated to help us get the most accurate data possible in our fish population counts. And you are? I'm Zane. Zane Bennett. Ah, Zane Bennett. I've heard about you. You're the guy who's obsessed with mermaids? That's me. Hmm, I see you're not shy about it. Why should I be? Well, I hate to burst your bubble, Zane, but mermaids don't exist. They're real, okay. I've seen one with my own eyes. Oh, really? I'm used to people not believing me. Science is about observable facts, Zane. Not fantasy. Exactly. Keep searching, Mako. You might be surprised by what you observe. Dr. Denman and her team plant underwater cameras at Mako Island at the entrance of the moon pool. Her and her team notice that someone has been to the moon pool and also find a strange scale in the cave. They test the fish scale and Dr. Denman realises that the sample reacts the same way as the one that Lewis brought into the lab. Take a look at this. We 
appropriate place for a date. Hmm. Really weird. What is it? Some kind of fish scale? I've seen an awful lot of fish scales, Greg. But never one quite like this. Now, almost there. Once I've dried it completely, we'll take a cross section and mount it on the... Hey. Is that... Is that skin? Pass me a scalpel. Tweezers? Okay. And now, we just... Add water. It's amazing. Its entire cellular makeup has changed on contact with water. Oh, that's impossible. I've never seen anything like it. I have. That's all we have for now in our look into Dr. Denman. We'll be back next week for part two. Cause I'm not